Hey, what's up guys? Kira here and welcome to another Anomalia survival video. So as you guys can see, today we have a brand new member of Anomalia, the Greater Kudu. This is actually one of my favorite herbivores. He's on my top five list. But unfortunately, with this update, there is still a few bugs and the Kudu is no exception. I wanted to wait a little bit so that I can show you guys properly the Kudu, but just so i give you guys a heads up there is still some bugs and problems into the game that the devs are trying to fix without further ado let's just jump straight into the video well guys this is my first time playing the kudu i don't really know the best stats but because there is a bug that doesn't really allow you to reproduce with other kudus we do have to be very careful on predators there is a pack of wild dogs over there, but I don't really want to drink because we're still a sub-adult. And a lot of people complain about speed and the movement of the kudu being slow. So that's something that we need to find out to see if the kudu is really slow. We're going to try and find a different place to drink. Because as a sub, you do get a lot of damage and I don't really think we can outrun a pack of wild dogs. We're gonna head east and see if we can find a little small pond to drink. We do have to be very careful on our stam. Even though we have 600 of stamina, you know, we have to be very careful not to get ambushed by any predators. Because that's usually the trick that I use when I play a uh, carnivore. I usually go and hunt those animals who are traveling or migrating from, let's say, the south side to the north side. Because their stamina will already be at half, give or take. It is easier to deplete it because for about, let's say, three minutes, you will still have that little chase that you have to do. And then that's when the real deal comes in and they ran out of stamina. So you always want to leave a little bit of stem just in case, you know, you find something that you don't want to see. So that's the reason why you always want to keep a little bit of stem. It seems like a solo lioness. We can either drink on this little pond that's on my left or we can play it safer and go to the uh, north side and maybe drink over there because I do know for a fact that there is another small pond. Looks like a juvie or no, it's a sub lioness. If there was a pride here then it would really be a problem but I do think I can take care of a uh, sub lioness looks like I'm stuck in my drinking animation it's not really a bad battle a sub lioness versus a sub kudu. But we're gonna play the uh, run and dodge game instead of the old <laughs> attack. There we go, she gave up. I won't go back there because I don't want to get attacked, but we are probably ready to grow which i do want to show you guys how it looks with the uh, horns i think in the future we will also have an option like the elephant where you can choose your different type of horns a lot of people have been asking for the lion mane which honestly would be pretty cool to see but we're just gonna head over here grow and then maybe we head all the way west where all the people are I don't really know about you guys, but I am a big fan of tall grass. It really gives smaller animals 
and maybe herbivores or maybe carnivores a place to use stealth and camouflage because as you guys know uh, that's not a thing on animalia because a lot of the times it doesn't really render out the bushes but i do love these tall grasses it is a pretty nice addition it can consume a lot of fps but at the same time i do really love tall grass we have finally grown into an adult and as you can see our horn it is pretty pretty big beautiful i do want to give this tip for you guys if you don't know already they have fixed a option called head access lock so if you disable this you will see that every time you move your camera your animal will look left to right so this is pretty good if you want to take maybe screenshots or maybe just leave it like that but if you want to take screenshots and you don't want your animal to keep moving his head like this you can just go into your options and uh, enable this and it will stay locked and center so you can just take pretty beautiful screenshots without the uh, head movement which is something pretty cool I will just admire the scenery. The best way to lose him is just to run around this wheat field, I think. We just have to tire them out. If it was a pride, it would be a problem. But because people can hear where you are at all times with the hoof sounds, it is pretty difficult to lose your opponent. We're gonna use this opportunity to rest a tiny bit so we can at least cross this open field without getting spotted by other lions. It really becomes a problem, I think, when it's a lioness because they are pretty much faster than the male lion. So you can outrun the male or maybe make him use his stamina. But when it comes to lionesses, uh, the kudu is not that fast. So you have to be very good at dodging. I do want to try and test out that theory, but I don't really want to die just yet. So we're going to just focus on crossing this open field. And then maybe by the end of the video, try to see if a pride will hunt us. Oh, I thought it was a kudu. So you can see how easy it is to hear and spot herbivores because of the uh, hoof sounds the only way to lose your opponent is to just standing still like this so they can't really hear you but if they have a good headset they will always find you so that's why having tall bushes and tall grass and places like this it is pretty nice so that we can manage the uh, hunt a little bit we're gonna follow this happy buffalo who's jumping around. Maybe see where he takes us. Look at that, we found his beloved wife or husband. Sadly, kudus can't really reproduce in this game for now. But once they fix that, I think a lot of people will play kudu. I don't really know about the damage, but it is just a beautiful and majestic animal to play with. 
So I do think here is a pretty nice place to rest. And there they go. Well, looks like we have found ourselves our first pride. Luckily for us, we do have almost full stem. We're gonna try and sneak past them from this side so they can't really see us. Hopefully there won't be any crocodiles on this side of the map. I haven't seen a lot of crocodiles in this map to be honest. But because we don't really have a jumping mechanic. We do have to be very careful. Crossing these shallow waters because that's where you least expect a crocodile to be but you always have to be very careful because you don't really know what lurks beneath the water I do want to visit here the uh, plains or the green something I don't really remember the name of this place but this is where usually all of the herbivores kind of hang out so I do want to check out see if there's this if there is any kudus on this part of the map Little hyena group over there. Let's just rest for a tiny bit. Because we do want to have our full stam to avoid it. They seem to be a very big hyena clan. Unless those are three or four leopards versus a hyena. What can hear? I think there will be a little battle between hyenas and leopards. I think they're disputing for a gore. You guys can see that there's a big gore over there. But there is a lot of hyenas. Of course in real life this would never happen because leopards are solitary hunters. Seem like somebody died. We're going to use this opportunity to go down there and see if there's any herbivores on the other side of this lake. And it looks like they're still fighting. In a attempt to find ourselves a female, or maybe a group of kudus, I will go to the Oasis 2.0 and see if we can find something there, but it might be a 50-50 chance we might get ourselves killed. We may not. We might even find somebody, who knows? That's the joy of sometimes playing solo. You will never know what's gonna happen once you go into that place. But well, wish me luck and let's see if we can find something well this place never seemed to amaze me we do have a group of crocodiles over there one trying to climb a rock we have a small group of lions trying to hunt a elephant a hippo and i do see a crocodile trying to sneak his way to my side but i got my eye on you There seems to be no kudus, unfortunately. Holy moly, that scared the hell out of me. Luckily for us, a good thing that they did was... Now crocodiles, every time they grab you on land, they can't bite you. So the only way to kill you on land is to grab you and drag you to the water. So you do have a chance on kind of escaping because once the stamina is low, they will automatically drop you. 
So you do have a little small window to kinda help your friends. But I'm sorry there Mr. Crocodile. Rule number one of survival, never trust a crocodile. So there seems to be another group of lions over there. So usually I know that when there's white lions, that's either two things. The admins group that they usually play as white lions or maybe another group. These ones, although they don't have the white skin, the legacy skin, they might be a part of a different pride. I do want to take a look. I will risk it for the biscuit. I will stare down into this pride, even though we can't really see them, and show them why we have the name Greater Kudu. I do think it's a no-brainer on which animal is everybody's favorite because as of right now i haven't found any herbivores per se this is a big map you gotta keep that in mind so there's a lot of places that i need to check to either find you know a kudu or maybe a group of herbivores because there is just so much that you guys can explore in this map but i do think a lot of people like to stay on the west side of the map so if you spawn on the east, you probably won't find anyone. If you find, it will probably be a spawn player like you. But usually people like to spawn on the uh, west side. The only thing you can see is just my pair of horns sticking out. You can't really see the kudu. But I'm trying to decide where we should go and head. Because it would be pretty fun to find another kudu. But I do think once they fix the birth invite problem with the kudu, a lot of people will play the animal. But for now, I don't think a lot of people will want to play. Because there is a place all the way behind those mountains to the east. There's also another place on the northeast that we can check out. But because I do want to see a little bit of traffic, I do think I will just stay here on the middle of the map. Where I can go back and forth and see who's coming from the south and north side. Maybe check a few of the spawns. Well, let's head out and uh, drink and eat something. Hopefully that lion that attacked us a few minutes ago won't still be here, but you'll never know. We do have to stay always in our tiptoes. be nice to just give him a little kick you know but that would be against the rules so we do have to head all the way to that little uh, river over there but we also have to be very careful not to wake the uh, solo lion over there which is pretty well camouflaged oh i think he woke up Come on, but I was being... So we do have the speed to outrun him. He's being very cautious with his stamina. But our walking speed is just so slow. give up and he's going back to sleep 
some of you might not like this type of you know gameplay where you just keep dodging and running but usually a lot of the animals in real life just do that that's how things are supposed to be done but because this is a game and humans play as an animal we usually want to go back and just kill lions kill leopards but because the kudu is just a tiny bit lower, he's coming back to round two. Let me see if I can get him in this tree. Or maybe not. He's slowed down. We have to be very careful because we are playing with him a little bit, but our stamina is already at half. He may not have a lot of stamina, but he might be able to regen his stamina pretty fast, so... He can't even walk fast. Now we are in the most dangerous place once again. Here's the place where all of the lions gather up. So I do want to find a little small log like that one. And maybe hide it behind it and rest for a little bit. And then maybe call it a day. Seems like the white lion group is still here. I do see him trying to get close, but we will just run away. Because as you can see, I think there is another line on the other side. Trying to cut me off. Do the old pinching uh, strategy. So we have to go full speed because we know for a fact that he has a pride, so... We can't really play around. Nothing like... Running and gunning. Because if you guys allow yourselves to get caught by a pride, then don't be surprised if you guys die. So, you know, usually you want to either fight or flight. It will depend on your play style, but I do think a lot of herbivores prefer to go back and maybe fight that lion and then fight the pride and then just run away. I think that's usually the play style of herbivores, but when you're playing solo and you don't have anybody to back you up, then I think sometimes running away and just dodging attacks is something pretty fun to do. I just want to take a final look on our right side and left side because we saw a another pride i do want to see if they want to kind of hunt me down but overall i don't think the kudo is that slow i just only think that the walking speed is too slow that is one lion we're gonna use the uh, kudo tactic which is standing still oh. like they saw me because I was doing a little bit of investigation on this animal to see how they behave so they just stand still and they just wait for their prey to kind of not notice them that's how the kudu kind of works We have to be very careful because he might not be fast, but if he has backup, then we don't really want to mess with the backup because backups are usually lionesses. You're in a little pickle, we have to go back. 
But this goes to show that a lot of the times in this game, lions are the ones that kind of do the hunting instead of the lionesses. I do think that's why the lioness has more speed so she can do mainly the hunt. But a lot of people just prefer to hunt as lions and uh, lionesses don't really do anything. Looks like I found a lost cub. Hopefully it doesn't belong to that group of lions. But we do need to go down and drink a little bit. We don't really want to jump and break our legs because that wouldn't be fun. They seem to be still near that water hole. We might try and jump straight down into the water. Maybe we can just dive in without breaking our leg, but I'm not pretty confident about that because I do label myself as a uh, looks like he broke his leg. I do label myself as a unlucky player sometimes. Well guys, I do think that the Kudu, it is a pretty fun and beautiful animal to play. Hopefully in the future we will see more Kudu players. Sadly, we couldn't even find any female or male in this map because it's just so big. I do think people are playing more uh, lions and maybe other types of uh, herbivore. In the near future, I do hope to see a lot of this animal because it is so majestic and beautiful. But until they fix the bug where you can't really have babies, I don't think a lot of people will play the kudu. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and leave a comment down for the YouTube algorithm. Get it here and I'll see you guys in a next video. Take care and peace.